A victory for Free State Stars tonight against the Polokwane City will take them up to 12th position on the log. And even a draw, just one point, will carry Free State Stars out of the relegation zone for the first time in a little while and drop Chipper United into the drop zone. Rogers with a challenge on Motlong. Still a ball through the middle over here. Shots from Dlamini is over the top. They need to keep an eye on Dlamini. He's the danger man. The intelligent defending him from Mankili, not getting caught up. He forces Dlamini to shoot from distance and doesn't engage him and the shot going over the top. Oh, it's a lovely save from George Chikova. Quality from Free State Stars. Brilliant free kick there from Jappi. Look at the pace on the ball, the spin. It took quite a bit for Chikova to come across. Look at that ball going towards the far post. Well, I wonder if this is the way that Polokwane City are going to play the whole night tonight, rather than defensive frame of mind. Yappy into the area. Rogers goes over the top by just a smidgen. This is clearly a tactic that has been rehearsed. You look at Jappi once again, the pace. The spin and all that Rogers needed was just a touch. And you can see this is something that they've worked on extensively. Fluby will care. Good save. George Chikova. Yappy. Looking for Rogers and Messina. Well, finally, somebody takes a shot. And it was a good one. And it was a really good save, too. All players getting in each other's way. Mamata! Off the inside of the post. And look who's there. Mamuta. And the end of that well taken chip. Look, it's just the most delicate of chips. The defense is beaten. Mamuta takes a shot first time, controls it, and hits it first time as it bounces up with the laces. And the upright comes to the rescue. Salalani Piri, it's a nice ball from Salalani Piri. Wise man Manuleka. Boy! And a last goal! Ah, oh, suddenly and finally, we have a goal at Goble Park. And it's not to the all creative home side, it's to visiting Polokwane City. Three in two games for Anas. And he scores against his former side, Polokwane City lead. We spoke about this, we said Free State Stars had the lion's share of possession. Goal scoring opportunities, and you can see the coach there totally dejected. And Nas didn't have much of a shot on goal in the first half, but when it counted most, ball played, and the defense there facing the goal. Clearly, some poor defending there from Free State Stars. Jeffy Watchful. Klube! That was a golden opportunity there. Wow. Should have done better. Great cross, and you can see the, the pain on the face of the coach there. Klubi. Rogers! Claiming him there was a foul on him, but I don't think enough from Ayandan Kili to uh, attract the attention of Mr. Jelly Chavani. All it takes is one moment of brilliance. They might find it here. No, they don't. Free State Styles, although there's a nice creativity from Martin Kidza. Wide on the uh, right hand side. Now it's right. Mbele. Rogers! Goal! It came off the post. It didn't look like it was going to go in, but it snuck over the line and Free State starts a level. Well, with just eight minutes to go, the tactic that they've been working on for the entire 82 minutes has come to fruition. And there was a, a lack of pressure on uh, Rogers. He was given space and time, and he did ever so well in converting that cross that was made to him. That was a complete disaster, and uh, Bongili Boy misses a chance to put Polokwane City back in front. What was a Free State Stars defense thinking right there? That the was, asked the same question that on was his taking, mind. That was taking huge risk there, Kevin. Look at the cross there. Ball was going nowhere. In fact, he had to clear the ball. Instead, Mutumo makes an error and he could have, could have paid for it. And it all ends at Gobo Park in Bethlehem in a 1-1 draw.
I think uh, first half we were uh, very passive in the game. And uh, I don't know if it was because of that changes, five new players in the team, that there was not that uh, confidence. What, uh, we went on that uh, fighting uh, mentality of the home team more, and we forgot uh, to play ball possession and uh, transition was not good. And uh, we lost some unnecessary duels. So I uh, must be like that. But the uh, second half we came better, more better. The changes help us a lot because uh, came player they took duels more they win duels we could keep the ball more so and finally we came uh, to the goal so that was important yeah I can't say anything about uh, this conceded goal because in that situation uh, this kind of player like uh, Rogers is, is is not to defend <laughs> he is too too big and uh, he get exact accurate uh, ball so. Compliment. So, okay, we couldn't win that that game, so we take the point and uh, we okay. All right, and uh, you keep on fighting. You've moved one up on the EPSA Premiership table. So, well done for coming back and making sure that you at least get a point on the road. Well done tonight. Yes, yes. This was our minimum target. We have it. Of course, we want to play sometimes clean sheet. Today they scored this nice goal, so okay. We take the point. Thank you. But wasn't he frustrating you when you looked at the chances? Uh, maybe not you, but the players, because they, they really, it was opportunity after opportunity. You should have most certainly been in the lead, particularly in the first half. Must be that you are not following free state stars. Uh, every hour game is like this. We are dominate from first game against Wits. But something is missing. Um, we can observe this game from, from three different points of view. First one is that we dominate all 90 minutes. Uh, I think that they had one or two shots on target. They scored. Uh, we must be honest, we didn't also, we didn't create enough chances for, from open play, but we created uh, e e more than enough chances after set pieces. Uh, from that point of view, we can't be uh, we can't be satisfied with draw. From point of view uh, of our current situation, and the fact that, uh, uh, from my opinion, Polokwane City and Cape Town City are currently two best teams in this league, in best form, in best form at the moment. Uh, we, as contender for avoiding relegation, must be satisfied with draw against such a good team. And uh, all credits to Polokwane uh, coach Josef Ukusic. He prepared this game very well. He studied us. You can tell that. I can tell that. Uh, they are trademark. Uh, a perfect defensive organization and offensive transition or simply counter attacks. Polokwane is a team who always uh, come to that one counter-attack and they kill you with that and they kill you self-confidence. But all credit to my players that, that they uh, found strength to come from behind. I think that subs uh, made something different in our game. Uh, and from point of view that we were, uh, that we were losing 1-0, and came from behind, we must be more than happy with Roe. But now, with the games dwindling away, they're finishing, they're ending, it's important now that you start converting those opportunities into the goals and start getting those three points. What, what more would you like to do with this side? I mean, you look at the effort, as you said, and the fighting spirit to come back as well. What, what more needs to be done just to make sure that uh, you get the three points? Uh, I think that we are going to show in uh, next few games that we found what we were missing for. Uh, we are not creating enough chances from open play, and that is our main problem. Converting chances is not a problem. Uh, we are keeping ball too long. We are dominating possession, but we are not playing. We are not playing forward enough. We are playing wide and wide. We are circling around opponent goal post, and we are not creating enough chances. And that is the main problem. Uh, but every problem has solution. And uh, I think that when it comes to most most necessary moment, 
we will find it. He's hoping you find it in the next game. Well done today, coach. Thank you. Thank you very much.